Last week, the U-Pike Bears put a W up on the board after defeating Livingstone University out of North Carolina. The Bears got moving early and often, defeating the Blue Bears 52-23, with the offense putting up 28 unanswered points in the third and fourth quarters. We caught up with head coach Al Holland Jr. and receiver Artiz Clark on their first victory of the season. Going back to the first game, you know, we learned a lot of things about our football team and, uh, you know, not being able to handle some adversity in that ball game. So, you know, going into that second game, we sort of put ourselves in the same situation at halftime and really talked to the guys about that. How are we going to handle this second half? You know, we've been here in this uh, situation before. We're going to come out and uh, we want to regroup and come out and play with energy the second half and, you know, and go ahead and earn a win or are we going to just sort of let them hang around, hang around? And I thought we had a big third quarter and that was a big difference in the ball game uh, and sort of taking them out of their game plan and making them do things they didn't want to do. Justin, we were making, um, just being prepared for the work, uh, going our enemy, our team we were playing against, just being prepared uh, first, second, and third, you know, all the way to the fourth quarter. Uh, not letting teams hang around with us a lot, um, going into halftime and finishing finishing drives and getting first downs equal touchdowns. So that's pretty much what we've been doing. The Bears now stand at 1-1 one and one on this season as they gear up for Bethel University tonight from the Hambly Athletic Complex. The Bears lead the series with the Wildcats 6-5, although the two teams haven't met since 2016 where Bethel came out on top. The Wildcats coming off a big upsetting win over the number two team in the country, Reinhardt, 31-21. Bethel is, you know, week one they played Reinhardt. Reinhardt's number two in the country. They had them at home and ended up knocking them off at home. So it says a lot about their football program and, and, the, and their turnaround with a new head coach, and he's doing a great job. So uh, we, we're going to have our hands full, but we're going to have to play for 60 minutes, and uh, if it takes overtime, we've been in that experience before. So uh, we got to be ready to go. we got to, you know, be great in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams, and, uh, you know, take care of the football and create some turnovers defensively this week. Expectations on Bethel, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty physical. Some on the defensive line and uh, the DBs are pretty physical up front, and um, they look pretty good, a little stop. But we're just making corrections, and in game, we'll just have to deal with them then. We're just working on, like, being disciplined on defense because we know that they're going to try to draw, draw us off sides, and, then, I mean, they're a tough opponent, so hopefully if we play sound that we can come out and win. They knocked out the number two team in the nation, but I think if we just play that we can actually play with them and beat them and upset a lot of people.